Good evening. Good evening, my friends. Today, I want to share from Luke 9, verses 49 and 50. And I'll just read. And John answered and said, Master, we saw one casting out devils in your name, and we forbid him, because he doesn't follow us. And Jesus said to him, Don't forbid him. For he that is not against us is for us. Do not forbid him. For he that is not against us is for us. And I just want to speak on on this because I feel like it's, it, you know, when you become a Christian, it's like the people who are the biggest targets for us are other Christians, <laughs> you know, it, it, it's like we, it's like we look at other Christians who are speaking in the name of Jesus and we judge them harder than we judge anyone else because we, we look at them and we're thinking, wow, they're not doing things the way that I do them, you know, or, or they're not at our church or, you know what I mean? Um, it's so easy to get caught up in that. Um, and, and that's extremely immature. It, it is not mature at all. It's a, it's a very immature. You can tell someone's very immature in their faith whenever they're comp- focused on um, minute details about the faith. You know, whenever Jesus says plainly right here, he makes it clear. He says, to John, he says, forbid him not from speaking in my name, in the name of Jesus, because he that is not against us is for us. And then another place, he says, no one doing a work in my name can turn around and speak evil of me. Um, so, so it's like this, when you come to the Lord, when you're in the Lord, you have to be really careful of judging other people who might not be following Christ um, with you in your church or in, in your denomination, but they're still doing things for Christ. It, you you can't say anything about what they're doing, you know. If it looks strange to you or you don't know them or you don't recognize them or 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 whatever, just be happy that they're doing something in the name of Jesus. You know what I mean? And because even Jesus says, whoever's not against us is for us. There's plenty of people in the world who don't even believe in God and 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 even more who don't believe in Jesus so so let's be clear that if someone's speaking about Jesus and they're speaking good things about him and encouraging people to hope in him even if it's contrary to something that you completely understand or know, don't tell people not to listen to that person. We have to get back to the simplicity of no man can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. And it's a revelation given to men. Now what people do with that revelation and that gift that's on them, but it doesn't change what Jesus is saying. No man that is for us is against us. You know what I mean? No man that's speaking in the name of Jesus, even if he's doing it for all the wrong reasons, he's still exalting Jesus in a way and, and giving glory to him and saying that he is the son of God, that he was crucified and resurrected from the dead. And in that, 
we should rejoice. We should rejoice when people speak about Jesus, even if they're doing it for all the wrong reasons, because at the end of the day, they're acknowledging who he is. They're acknowledging that he was crucified, buried, and resurrected. And that is a million times better than what the rest of the world is doing. Let's think about this. Let's think about what Jesus says. Don't forbid him, for he that is not against us is for us. Amen.